Well, good evening and welcome back. We're going to start off with taking one more look at our Titan radar. Notice these clear conditions. We've been watching it all weekend and really for quite a while. And tomorrow will be no different. I am still expecting the radar to stay nice and clear and rain free, but we will be keeping this cloud deck on hand. Outside these winds, fairly calm to just a little bit of a light breeze, about eight miles an hour in Tallahassee, five miles an hour for both Bainbridge, Mariana, and even out in Apalachicola. These temperatures, as I just mentioned, for the most part, we're all still sitting in the 60s. A little bit cooler out in Homerville and as well as Valdosta in the lower 60s. Moving over to Tallahassee, that's our, still our warm spot, right? About 72 degrees. But again, these temperatures will continue to cool down to about the upper 50s, mid to upper 50s. So we take a look at your radar and satellite. All of this, the cloud mass that we're currently seeing moving over Alabama and into Georgia, that's where we're going to be seeing a lot of this overcast condition stay for the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. We'll also be keeping the partly cloudy skies on hand thanks to some easterly winds bringing in a little bit of that extra moisture. But that rain that I mentioned earlier, that's actually what's currently sitting over Texas and Oklahoma working its way towards the east. That we're not likely to see until Tuesday evening, maybe even Wednesday morning, thanks to this high pressure keeping that well away from us. And then high pressure, as I mentioned, influences these easterly winds. Those, east, those easterly winds really uh, bring in a little bit of this extra moisture, and that we see in the form of clouds. So tomorrow, it'll be another partly cloudy day for most of the day, just like we saw today. Take a look at your forecast and focus. There's these overcast skies that I was just mentioning. Easterly winds brings in that extra moisture. For the most part, your winds tomorrow about 5 to 10 miles an hour, so it won't be too breezy. We will be seeing that easterly wind and for the most part, partly cloudy skies. For tomorrow night, they may try to clear out just a little bit, but on the whole, during the day, especially when you're at school and work, partly cloudy conditions will be the norm. Low 60s when we go to drop the kids off at the bus, mostly cloudy skies. Seeing a little bit of sunshine by lunchtime as well as your drive home. Nearing 80 degrees for the high tomorrow, so we'll be feeling pretty nice, just like we felt for today. Your beach and boating forecast has a bit breezier conditions out on the water. East winds 15 to 20 knots, so small crafts should exercise caution. Your water will be a bit choppy out there as well. You have a high rip current risk for tomorrow with a moderate UV index, about 79 degrees if you plan to be on the beach. And looking ahead towards the next seven days, partly cloudy conditions really persist. Small chance of rain shows up Tuesday and Wednesday. It really doesn't stick around, and those highs really hover right about 80 degrees, really all throughout the rest of this work week. But until then, again, partly cloudy skies for tomorrow. And Maybe a little more sunshine for the weekend. Now, don't go anywhere. We have sports with Kyle Logan after this break.